Rice with the Township Police Department. I'm conducting an official criminal investigation concerning a homicide. Any false statements about material matters given by a witness under oath will constitute perjury, which is a first degree misdemeanor according to Section 837.012, Florida Statutes. You already have your right hand raised. You solemnly swear or affirm at the evidence you are about to give me is the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Yes, sir. Do you understand that if you knowingly make material misstatements of fact to me during this investigation, you will have committed the crime of perjury? Yes. Sir. Do that. Yes. Uh, Lewis, do you have any questions about what uh, the detective just said? No, sir. Okay, you understand that if you don't know the answer to a question, it's okay to say, I don't know. If you don't understand the question, it's okay to say, I don't understand the question. Could you repeat it? All right? Yes, the most important thing is, is that you give truthful information, which I know you will. You don't guess. If you need time to think about something, that's okay. If you intentionally tell a a story or you give a statement that you know is not truthful. Not only will you have committed a crime of perjury, which is really the least of your concerns, the most important thing is, is you will no longer have a deal. Okay? All right, now we do know that you have immunity. So, you know, the things that they've asked about you that they haven't got independent of you, they couldn't use against you. You understand that? But that ain't the deal. The deal is we want to tell the truth and, and do what's right. Yes, you understand? That's that's the point. All right, I don't have any further questions in that regard. And the statement's going to, is, is being recorded? Yes. All right. Lewis, uh, the, the first time that you had conversation let me start this because I want to make sure I Daniel Markell before this occurred no, no. speak up that was hey if I heard about him did you ever hear of him no not at all never heard of him never knew anything about him no sir um, no one's ever mentioned that name before no sir not at all what about Wendy Adelson Anybody else by the last name of Adelson? No, sir. Okay. When's the first time, if you can recall, when you first understood that you were going to come to Tallahassee? Because my understanding is you've never been to Tallahassee before. Never been up here. Okay. What was the circumstances of the first that caused you to come to Tallahassee the very first time? I thought it was the first time I was coming up here, I thought we were going to come in here and rob somebody, you know. So when I get in the car, that's when Garcia told me, what are we coming up here for? Coming up here to kill somebody. So before you got in the car, you had a conversation with Sigfrido Garcia. In my house. Tudo. Yeah. At your house. Mm -hmm. And he says he, want, he wants you to go with him to Tallahassee. Yeah. To do a drug robbery. The, when I understand when he was talking to me, first I thought it was going to be like a robbery. Just a robbery? I thought it was going to be a simple robbery. But then as we, as we kept going on talking about it, that's when he told me, listen, we're coming. I got to come up here for a job. I'm finna get hired. We're getting hired. I'm going to kill somebody. And you already left, or is that before you? No, I was still, I was still in my house. Okay. I, then we, I rented a car. We got in the car, and he told me, my body, like, you want to come out here? I'm going to kill this guy. You're going to get paid. This much, thirty thirty five thousand dollars. So I looked at my house, you know, it's a little bit of money, but all right, whatever, let's try. We driving. He showed me a picture of my kid. That's the first time I seen a, a picture of him, and I heard about his name. He told me his name. Dude, this is a guy we want to go see. His name is Mark Hill. I like, I don't need the, I don't need the name. Forget about the name, cause I'm not gonna remember the fucking name. Just show me the picture. But I just seen the picture, and I looked at him. Somebody in the door up here. Come up here the first night. We went to the hotel. I got. I got. I hate to interrupt you, but I do. I, I, I want to make sure we're talking about the first trip. The first trip. And you rented the car? No, the car was not under my name. Okay. Is it a rental car? Or is it, it was a rental car. A rental car. Who rented the car? It was Garcia. He came. He came with the car. 
He came with the car. He came with the car. To your place. Was he came always to my homegirl's house. Who's that? Uh, Rochelle. He picked me up and I left. You know, he like, yo, what's up? Boom. So he called you and said, I'm going to get you. The what story, happened? he already told me the story. He rented a car and came to pick me up that same day. Okay. He's like, yo, I'm on my way. He picked me up, I got my car, I left, went to my house, changed up, got a car, and we drove. Okay. You, it was like a Wednesday night, I think Wednesday. It was Wednesday. You knew that the purpose of him renting the car was to drive to Tallahassee with it? Yes, sir. So he already told you, I'm going to rent a car, or he shows up and says, I've rented a car? No, no, he, he said, I got to rent a car. He ready to rent a car. He said, I'm going to go rent a car, I'll be back later. So you knew that the story, the first version, is that you're coming up here to rob somebody and you're going to go rent a car. Yeah. But it changed to murder mm -hmm. before or after he rented the car. Well, before he rented the car. Remember, who's in the house speaking about it? I just got to be down and I got to get it off. Okay, but I don't want you to get me confused and throw me back and forth. Exactly. I'm not trying to. So I'm, I'm going to be straight up. Detective Isom, do you care if I might ask a question that I think may help? Not right now. I just no, made absolutely. It. Yeah. I'm fine right now. And, I, and I, I, I definitely want him to go through the whole story, but I'm afraid if we get too far down the road, I get it. the fact that... I agree. That's all. When I, things I don't it. make sense or add up, we've got to stop and get to it. Okay. How long was it... You said you initially thought that this was going to be a robbery. What gave you that idea? Why did you think it was going to be a robbery? I, I was, I'm a jack boy. Okay. I, said, I, rob, I, dro I rob drug dealers. Okay. So, so he was I'm talking. Thinking, he was talking in terms of that job in Tallahassee. Uh -huh. okay. So I'm thinking we finna go. Okay, boom. But then he's like, man, it's, it's, it's not that. We finna go. I'm finna go kill somebody. We're gonna get hired. Okay. And this was before he went and rented the car. Before he rented the car. Okay. So when he got the car, he, he it was either in his name or somebody else's name. I don't know what name was it, but he came with the car to my. He came up with the car to my homeless house. I was there drinking at night. I jumped in the car, went home. What kind of car was it? It was like a uh, black uh, Nissan. Okay. It was a Nissan. And what date was this, as best as you remember? I don't remember the date, man. Well, you remember the month and, and the year? The month had to be like either June or July. Okay. The year was 2014. Okay. And he showed you a picture of Markel. Markel. And said y'all were going to go kill him. Mm -hmm. Now, were you the one that he was intending to go uh, do the murder? Or was he, why were you even involved? Because he told me he, he trusts me. So I trust you, and you're the only one I trust. But were you the one he was hiring to do the murder? Because I don't understand why you need two people to commit a murder. They were hiring him. Okay. They were hiring him. They were hiring him. They were hiring him. He said he's going to pay me to go with him because he didn't want to go by himself. Okay. Was, was Rochelle present when you discussed this with him? No, not at all. Nobody. It was just me and him. But, but it was at Rochelle's it house? Was, no, it was at my house. Okay. He picked me up in Rochelle's house. I was drinking. Gotcha. Hey, where you at? I said, I'm over in Rochelle's house. Come slide to him and pick me up. So when he picked me up, I said, all right, let's put on my house. I'm finna go change. So I had on shorts, so I put on long pants and a long sleeve. I said, all right, let's ride. Got in the car, and he drove. I was passing side. I was running with blunt, and we drove. I was drinking the whole night, going that way. I said, when we got when we got to Tallahassee, that way we need to rent the hotel. Hold on, right there. Uh, get too far. Where's Rochelle, where was Rochelle living at the time that you picked you up? Five on house, right? Like a block away from my house on 135th on 16th. Okay. On 135th on 16th. What time you left? Uh, like 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock at night. At night, yeah. So y'all drove through the night. Yeah. All the way through the night. You got here this morning. I got here like around like 6, 5 o'clock in the morning. I believe it was an 8 hour drive. Okay. Y'all stop anywhere on the way? Yeah, we stopped in uh, like on a on a rest like the rest area, stuff like that, take a piss and keep on driving. Mm -hmm. That's about it. You don't get gas, gas yeah. We got gas and keep going. How'd you pay for the gas? Cash. All okay. cash. Yeah, 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 cash. They gave him like like five grand, two thousand dollars in his pocket and we, we kept it. We came up here and rented a hotel cash. What, what was the hotel? You remember? I don't remember. I took hotel, I forgot the name of that. When you drove was fine, you yeah. saw it, you said that's the first place. That was the yeah. first hotel I took you to that one. Okay. I stayed there twice, came up here. Uh, <clears throat> okay, I don't want to jump ahead of y'all. So, at some time, you meet some other people while you were up here. Yeah, yeah. Um, first, we met some guy that night. He went to the hotel. Was he a black gentleman? Yeah, it was a, a crackhead. Okay. He was Just telling us about him. Tell us how that happened. Yeah, um, security pulled up. 
Hey man, what's up, man? I ain't got no ID, man. You do me a favor, rent the hotel, I'm gonna give you twenty dollars. Yeah, 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 take twenty dollars right now. So he went, gave him twenty dollars, went to the hotel. We stayed that night. I think it was, the room was one ten or one oh nine. Were y'all doing drugs in the room? I'm just to make sure, just to make sure this is on record, 110 or 109, he's already driven us by, and that is the budget in on Wadsworth of Tennessee. Okay. Yeah, well, I got the room, we've been drunk, we got powder, we got, we got, we got beer, but we had a bottle. We had a bottle in the pocket, we were drinking. We had a bottle, we were chilling all night. I probably want to sleep at around three. I woke up around seven that morning. I think it was 7 o'clock the next morning. We well, we got there by that time. We slept for a little bit. We checked out was at 11. We leave. Went by um, Markel's house. Went around him. Went straight to his house. I parked by the park like I said, where I showed Jedi. I parked there for a little bit to see if he was going to come out. When he came, I seen the car. I don't know when I scoped the car. I'm like, yo, that's, that's that guy right there. I seen a white male in the car. He's like, yeah, that's him, his father. So we followed him all the way to school. He got the kid off. Boom. I lost him. I guess he was going to the gym in that morning, but... How do you know what kind of car he's driving? Because Sigfredo told me the car. You know? Sigfredo told you the car? He said he got a black Nissan. Okay. No tents. You will see him. Because he already showed me the picture. So Sigfredo supplied you a picture of Markel, which is the target. And has also told you a type of car that he drives. Yes, sir. Does he tell you where that information came from? No, sir. He just showed me a piece of paper with his name, and I, that, I believe that paper had that address. But I remember seeing his face, and that, so the paper had to have the address. Was it typed, or was it handwritten? No, it's like that. Typed. Uh, when he said it was a Nissan, did he say it was a Nissan, or did he say it was a black four-door or two-door? No, he told me it was four-door Nissan. Okay. Now, just like the car we had, but just in black. Okay. Let's back up a little more, a little bit further. Um, you said he, you said they gave, they gave him five thousand dollars. Tell us about that. What did he say? Where did he get the money from? Oh, he said he got the money from the lady. He still haven't told me her name yet. He said, um. My, my, I got the money from the lady. Well, his wife gave him the money. So, Katie gave him the money. But he told me about the lady. He told me, yo, the lady got the money. She's going to pay us. So, you know, all this driving around and talking to him about the money, I told him, we should just go rob her. That's my intention. Fuck this guy. I don't got nothing against that guy. I don't even know that guy. Especially after he told me about what was it for, for the two kids. So I'm gonna, I, because I asked him why you want to kill this guy. Because the lady wants her two kids back. She wants full custody of them kids. Because he, got, he had all the custody. That was the, that was the plan. That was the deal. That's where he went to go kill that man for. And how did two of know all this? Katie, I guess Katie told him everything. Katie told him everything. And then that. But you're just guessing that. You don't know that for sure. Do you? No, that's for sure. For sure, Katie told him everything. Right. That's How do you know that? How do you know Katie? Because he's, he's he talking to Katie on the phone. Hey, babe, what, what, okay, what's going on? Hey, the lady's going to have, you sure she's going to have the money on time? Tell her don't play with it because we'll show up in her house. Tell her she better have that fucking money. And he always kept telling her that. Because when you went on this trip, were you with Tuda the whole time? Did y'all separate? Y'all were in the same never, car? Y'all stayed separate. in the same hotel room? Never separated. Stayed in the same hotel, different beds. You were always with him? So when he talked to Katie, you could hear him talking to Katie. Of course. And you knew it was Katie. Right there. Right here. Did, 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 you know it was, did you know it was Katie because of what he was saying, or could you actually hear no, her voice? It's Katie. I can hear her voice. Hear and you had heard it before? Yeah, I can hear Katie's voice. That's Katie. How many years have you known Katie? I know Tuto my whole life. Katie, I probably like five, six years, seven years. I don't know. Katie, I just met her because of Sufredo. I know Katie, maybe like, well, they've been together for like 10 years, about that same time. And they've been together, how long, how, however long they've been together, I think it's 10 years, that's how long I know her. That's how long I know her. Lewis, was there any coke usage in the in the hotel that night? Yeah, every day it was coke. Cool. But I'm talking about that night when the, the you had, you said some crackhead signed for the room. Mm -hmm. 
Was that guy also bringing drugs to you all, or no, no, just a no, crackhead? No, no, He just, he just went to the hotel. Okay. Was there I any other people? Was there any other people you met that night? That night, it was the next night. The next, the day. next night. Okay. I, was, I stayed there for three days. Okay. I'm sorry, gentlemen. I just wanted to. I stayed there for three the days. You're catching up. Yeah. 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 <laughs> it was the next day. We met a, a guy, and uh, it was a gray, gray blue Chevy photo. He was in the back trying to serve some people up. So we spot him. I said, man, go ask that guy. Well, he, bitch, he got to go. I was in I asked him, man, man, what's up? Will you give me some coke? Yeah. Man, we need a 40 when we got it. We can't buy it for him. That same night, we were just hanging out. We were just doing coke, hanging out. When I came back, every time I came back, we meet up with this guy. Every time How'd you came back? Every time. How'd you meet up with him? She probably had his number. We found him one time driving when we came up here on the Prius. That day that he shot the fucking Prius, we seen him that same day, maybe half an hour before that happened. Boom, that's where we bumped into him. And we asked him, hey, what's up, man? We need some pot. And they followed We'll follow him somewhere to go to some coke. He was with a group of people. He said, all right, let me go drop these people off, and then we'll go over there. As we followed him, that's when he shot the car, and we had that mechanical problem in the car. Who shot the car? The Garcia. We wanted to get to that. That's, that's not the same day that you first got there, right? No. Let's try to, let's try to, I know it's a lot that's of That same night was this, I was just up here scoping him out. We ain't do nothing. Came out here following him for two days. After that, like the Friday, we were gone. We was here from Wednesday to Friday the most. I was gone. That's it. I just came out here, scoped him out. We see what he was about, where he go, what his routes. But every time he go to the daycare, I lose him because he used to take so long. So I'm like, Man, this guy never comes back out. And then when I go drive back, the car was never there. Okay. So we ended up going back to the hotel and hanging out. Just hanging out at a little party. And we was out here partying. Then they would, they would do the same thing the next morning. We'll wake up and try to follow him all over again to the same daycare. That's all. We already knew where he lived. We was used to him following this guy. I said, why do you keep following this guy if you know where he lived? You're in the passenger seat. Yeah, I'm in the passenger seat at that time. You know, he kept, he was following him. I didn't drive the first night. That's it. That night was over. That's about done deal night. The night that I came up in the car, that's when everything happened. Okay. I drove. Let's don't get to that yet. Hold on a second. We need. We still need to get to do that first trip. Uh, he, he tells you what it's about. He shows you this picture, and and then and, and you're getting this information on the way up, and while you're already here, or he already has the full story, and he's double he checking me, with her on the phone. He told me the story already right in my house. It was just me and him and house by myself. He told me everything. But the guy that the guy has two kids and the woman wants the kids back. Yes, does he say the woman's name then? Not at all. Okay. And that and does he say anything? Does he bring up Katie at all when you're at the house? Yeah. And down in Miami. He like, he like I, I asked him, who's fucking hiring? He like, Katie told me this lady's gonna hire me. But I want you to go with me. Then I hired they wouldn't hire me, they were hiring him. Right. So he said, I'm gonna break you off. I give you 35 grand. Okay. I said, all right, for the drive. I said, all right, fuck it, I'll take the drive. So you're just back up? I'm just back up, just driving. Okay. That was the whole deal, I'm just driving. So he's saying Katie is the person between the woman that wants this done. Katie's the one in the middle doing everything, put it like that. Okay. And that's what he tells you. Mm-hmm. Okay. And so you, and then you hear her over the phone because you don't meet with her before y'all leave. I never met her. Okay, and you hear her over the phone, and you're telling, you told Mr. Mr. Collins just now that you're sitting as close as you two were, yeah, and you can hear and recognize her voice. Of course. And she is saying specifically what? When you're when he's talking to her, what? Just give me an idea of what he's saying. Oh, when he's talking, she like she like, yo, get up there quick. You know, make sure everything. You make sure you do everything right. Don't do nothing stupid. Look at the house. You know, you got the paper. I know you have. Where he had the paper. Where did the paper it. come from? See that? I can't tell you where the paper comes That's from. That's fine. That's part fine. If you can't tell us, that's fine. I, tell you, I know he had the paper. He showed me the paper, so I don't know where the paper comes from. But I just like I tell you, it's black and white like that. But I can hear it saying, you know, make sure everything gets done right. When you're done, call me. Boom. It was like maybe like a two, three seconds conversation. I'm up. He said, man, you ready? I said, man, I'm, I'm getting ready. I'm, let's go. Let's ride. All right, we drove. We drove the whole time up there. Um, 
he can't, he talked to her once, you know. He, she, I guess he, she told him, don't be calling me so much. She says, call me when you finish. She thought it was gonna happen that same night that we went up there. First trip. The first trip. I didn't let that shit happen. I'm like, man, I ain't doing shit. I was still, you know, like, what the fuck? You know, I can't, my mind was like, for some kids, are we gonna kill this guy for some fucking kids? Are you serious? Why can't she just get full custody? Louis, were you hired by Garcia to do the job? Yeah, Garcia paid me. I know, but were you just a ride along, or were you I'm actually going to be the trigger man? No, I, 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 I don't just, know why he paid you so much money for a ride. I'm, I'm just, I was just a ride along. He goes, come with me, and then as we're going, at one point he tells me, you know, you you should go in there and kill him. I said, nah, no. Lewis, it, it's it's if the truth is that That's you were true. high, I told I told you I told him the story. I told him the story. He asked me, you know what? You should go in there and kill him. You should go in the house. I'm not, I'm not going to play. You know, Why would he want you to go in and kill him? Um, does he does he believe you've killed people in the past? That's what he thinks. Have you ever killed anybody in the past? Never in my life, sir. You know you're under oath. Yeah, never in my life. You put my hands up. Never in my life killed nobody. Before. Okay. I don't beat people with bats here with sticks and shit like that. But you had mentioned before that the first trip was the intent that you were going to do the shooting. Yeah. yeah. He, he thought I was going to do a shooting. But I want to have enough balls to fucking shoot somebody for some kids, man. So I didn't do it. So the whole heat, but I maybe guess, for what about for thirty some thousand dollars? I still wouldn't. I, I couldn't do it. I, I, I didn't even even grab the gun. That's how but, crazy it is. But you had the gun the first time. The the gun came from you. Or yeah, from, the, the gun came from me. The first trip. I gave him the gun. He grabbed it. He cleaned it up. Cleaned it up. With alcohol. Cleaned it up. And he hold it the whole time. The, but the fourth time, the first trip. Oh, the first trip. I had the gun in the hotel. Right. The first trip, you supplied the gun. Yeah, I supplied the gun. Okay. The second trip, did you supply the gun? Yes, the same gun. The first, the, describe the gun the first trip. So 30, I'm not trying to confuse you, I'm just, uh, I'm confused. Yep, yeah, and it happens. Okay. It's yeah. a 38 Smith & Wesson short nose. The same gun we came up with, the same gun we came up with the first time. The, I, we came up with two guns. Or, I yes. came up with two guns? Yes. I, I could, I, last, last time we were talking, I meant to tell you, but... Yeah, I had, had 20 minutes, and I'm like, I told Chuck, man, I got to tell him. I don't want you know, to make no mistake. No, Came on with two guns. There's a blue steel, long nose, Taurus, and a 38. Who had what? There was two guns. You had a boat? Who had them? No, had both was in the car to stash. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I said, I'm going to keep one because you never know what's going to happen. I really didn't trust myself. I said, I don't know if he was going to fucking kill me. If he was a kid, this guy going to kill me. So I was prepared for whatever. Hey, you been you grew up with this guy. He's not gonna kill you. Man, you go kill somebody and then you drug up, man, and then you shoot the fucking car. Oh uh, well, that's true. He did shoot the car. So all right. yeah, come on. All right. Shit. <laughs> well, I forgot about that part. Yeah. But I mean, I don't know. Would he intentionally yeah. shoot you? Maybe he'd be like, you know, I kill this guy. This guy might snitch on me. Boom! Let me kill him too. Let me get him out the way and let me steal all the money. I've seen that before. Okay. So the blue steel, long nose. Uh, long nose blue steel. It was to uh, Taurus. Taurus thirty eight. And uh, thirty eight Smith and Wesson. Was the black one short? Short, no. That's the one. Can we take a short break right, just for a second? And we're not going anywhere. I just want to go off the off the record for a second, if we can. It's all right. Yeah. Uh, I'll have you to. Then? What? What do you mean? Oh, uh, uh, okay. All right. It, no, it's okay. We don't need to. It's yeah. not that important. But okay. So, so short nose, thirty-eight Smith and Wesson. What color? Black. Okay. Both 38 caliber. Yes, sir. Okay. You supplied both of these guns? No, just one. Which the gun did you supply? Is the blue, the long, the long nose, blue steel, Taurus, is Garcia's gun. Where did he get it? I don't know. That's his gun. Okay. So that's his gun. That was his the gun. The blue steel, long nose, yes, he yes. brought. I support, I support the short nose, black 38. But the blue steel, long nose, long, longer barrel, he brought Taurus. Garcia brought, and you don't know where he got it from. Okay. Is that a nine? The Taurus is a nine millimeter? No, a 38. 38? Okay. All right. You brought the 38 black short nose Smith & Wesson. Yes, sir. Where'd you get that gun? From a neighborhood from a black boy that I know. A neighborhood black boy that you know? Yeah. What's his name? I don't know his name. 
How, how long before did you, how long did you get it before? When did you get it? In, uh, a week before, the day before, the day of, that you took the trip? When he told me, he said he needed, he, when he told me, he said I needed a 38 revolver. Cause he showed me, he had showed me the blue stem and I said, big gun, what the hell? You, shit, you trying to blow somebody brain? Are you crazy? He said, yeah, they find me a, a 38 small one. I said, you know what, I think I know where to get one. Cause I remember somebody trying to sell one around the neighborhood. So when I seen I seen the black boy around the trailer park, I said, man, what's up, man? You still got that gun for sale? He's like, yeah. I said, man, I give you 150 for it. So I gave him 150 and I got the gun. This was what day before the you took the trip? The day he told me. Yeah, before, when he went to when he went to go run the car, I got it the same day. When he went to go in the car, I said, by the time you come back, I should try to get, I should have it in my hand. Because when I picked it up, I already, I had it on me. I was in my shoulder, I was drinking, and I called, he like, when I got to my house, he like, man, you get that? I'm like, nah, I ain't get it. I was playing, I'm like, I ain't get it. Like, fuck, him. I'm saying, nah, I got it. I took it on the hill. When I give it to him, I'm like, all right, he clean it. He clean it, he clean it. Like, I'm going to clean it, that way you don't have your fingerprints on it. He cleaned it with alcohol and a, and a, and a bandana. And we took it. All right, we're going. He said, I said, you going to take both of them? You only going to take both? Take one? He said, yeah, I'll take both. And I'm like, you know what? Yeah, I'll take both. So I, we took both of them up here. You don't know the guy's name that you got the gun from? No, no, we're just a neighborhood kid that he was selling, a young kid, too. And it had to be real young, like 18, 19. Does the gun come with bullets, or you had to go buy bullets? No, I had to get bullets. Where did you get the bullets? I think I, I, think I have bullets already. <clears throat> yeah. No, we went to the store. Matter of fact, I did. I went to the store. Um, 117 on Biscayne. 117, 112 on Biscayne. It's a gun store. Went in there about the 38th. 117 or 112? Yeah, in between. Oh, in between those two? Between them two. Okay. I'm just giving you right. like an address right around there on Biscayne. What neighborhood? Biscayne. I understand. Never no, mind. Okay. Everything is by my hood. Remember what kind of store? A gun right store. No, it's the only gun store right there. It's the only gun store. It's right, it's matter of fact, it's, it's right next to um, <coughs> where we rent the car. Where you rent the which car? The Prius. Okay. I rent the Prius. It's right like, right next door to it. They do for the town. Who went to the gun store? I walked in there. By yourself? Yeah, because I, like, I used to box. In the shirt that I had on, it says um, PL Police Department Boxing Gym. And I walked in there, I, cause I just came out the gym, I had that shirt, walked in there, and they, they ain't even acting for ID. I said, yeah, I need some bullets. Oh, boom, what you need? I said, no, 38, boom, grab me now. He didn't go with you? Oh, he was outside in the car. He's outside in the car? Yeah, he's outside in the car. This, the was, this was the day before the day of your leaving? The day before we left. Two was outside in the car, he didn't go in the store? <laughs> In the back. It was in the back in the house. I had I was in my Mercedes. You got um you buy for him too, or he already had bullets? No, I, I bought them for him. I bought them for me. I know, but I mean I'm saying you bought bullets for both guys, really. Yeah, it was like twelve little bullets. It was six and six in each gun. Right. But you did you buy just twelve? Just twelve. You can buy individual twelve bullets. Yeah, individual twelve bullets. You buy singles. Okay. Like cigarettes. <laughs> you go in there by single because this is your type of single. I, whatever you need, the fifteen for twenty dollars. You know, shit like that. Now, do Interesting these, gun store. Do these well, these stores probably don't follow the rules, and they should have records of selling ammunition, shouldn't they? Maybe not. They sell it to everybody, man. I don't give a fuck who you. This Tudos. I mean, this this is. This is uh, Lewis's neighborhood. He knows. Right. Anybody can walk in there and get it. They ain't gonna ask for an ID. I'm gonna ask for ID if you're trying to buy a gun. That's it. Okay. So now the only thing that I feel like is lacking is the five thousand dollars that you brought up. That they gave him. That's what you're talking about. You, did, you give, <laughs> did you give somebody five thousand dollars? If I gave somebody five thousand dollars, yes. They gave him. I gave. I gave. When I when I got paid. Okay, you, okay, all right. you said 5000 just a minute ago from Katie. Coming up. Oh, no, when we're coming, we're coming up this way, he had money. I said, yo, how much money you got? I think he's like $5,000. I 
like that. I give you that much money to take a ride. Yeah, yeah, let's go. And then he, you know, yeah, gave me 500. He like, hold this, just in case I run out. I know he's gonna run out, cause he's gonna buy everything in coke. So I see, yeah, let me, yeah, let me hold him on the phone. You know, we went up here. And just, I'm telling you, riding this way, we stopped in a couple of stores, we put gas. I think $30 in gas, and then another 30 Came up here, we put more gas. Bought some drugs. We bought bought a little bunch of little bottles. You know, we're just hanging out. We're like partying the whole night. Rent the hotel, get a guy $20. He bought like 100 100 They tore it all over the coke off, the, off that black guy. You know, just buying shit all day. I knew he would run out. The only thing I remember him having like, maybe like, Six hundred dollars left in his pocket. All that money, like, yeah, that much money left. Like, come on, man. So this first trip, where do you know where the five thousand dollars came from? Can you give it? He said that. Yeah, I'm like, who gave you the money? Like, my wife gave me the money because the the other lady gave her the money to give to him. And like, look, this is just to let you know that I'm real. Like, I'm I'm, I'm honest about what I'm gonna what I'm gonna give you. Like saying, you know, real out. Then the next trip is when he had like two thousand dollars. And he gave me two hundred dollars out of that shit. Kept it in my pocket. He ran out and had to use my two hundred dollars. Good kind of thing, kid. So, are you doing that? Okay. Um, so we now are coming up on that first trip. Uh, it might be hard to think back, but how many felt, how many cell phones did y'all have? I, I kept. My, I always kept my two. I remember I have two phones. You had two phones that first trip you came up? Yeah, always. First trip, second trip, my whole fucking life. Okay. Do you remember what the numbers were on the first two phones? On my, on my phone? Nah. Jessica, don't know. She got to have it. I don't know. I don't remember. It was 290. I can't remember the number. Jessica, don't know. She'll know. She probably has it on the phone. I don't remember the number. Okay. But I know he had, he had a throwaway phone. Just one? Yeah, he had one phone. He had a throwaway phone. But how did he communicate with uh Kate? Okay. With her with her phone. Did he call her straight up on the number? Did he have any apps he was using? Uh, did he have anything special? I was firm, I think they both had throwaways. You know, I'm just I don't know what phone she had, but I know that the second trip, I remember her calling her from her um using her phone. Because I know I know her. I remember I know her number. So I remember that. But the first trip, I think, I think they had throw. I know, I know for sure you had to do a black phone. How, how would you see or come into knowledge of her number if she wasn't calling you? How would you know that her number would call on the second trip if she wasn't because calling you? The second trip? No, she ain't calling me. She's calling him. All right. But I can hear her voice. I know Katie's voice. I hear her voice. And, it's, you know, but the, the phone wouldn't have no names on it. So when she called, you can see the number. And you saw it? Yeah, I seen Katie's number. I know Katie's number by heart. I just remember. I was thinking about her number that last night. I can't think about her fucking the fucking the numbers and shit. Do you remember it now? Uh, I, know I think the last phone number was 1612-5-something. 5-something, 1612. Something around there. That's, that's her number. But I know Katie's voice, you know, this, she's, I'm 100% sure she's, she was in this the whole time. And I know because I heard her voice and she gave Garcia the, the money to come up here. And she called me after the murder the next day. Where's Garcia? Did y'all want the money? Find that nigga. I have, I have somebody else go pick them up. He ought to go pick them up for me. And that's only the truth. Man. I ain't gonna say I'm fucking lying bullshit now, y'all. I got yesterday lie about nothing. If I want to, I can just want straight try and like fuck everything. I don't want to know the truth. That's it. Well, I guess you can jump. Where you at? Well, um, the okay. So you come up here. You go to the you, you go to the hotel. You stay there. Cracker gets you the room. Registers for you. You all stay there two nights, two or three nights. It sounds like yeah. Same room, 109, 110, yeah. 110. One of them, I think it was 110, I'm, I'm not even sure, but one of them, I showed you the room that I was in, between one and two. You go to the house, you already know where the house is, did y'all have to use a map to get to the house, or did you, he drive straight to the house? We drove, we would drive, um, to come to his house, we stopped one time and the guy like, man, I can't remember how to get to Tallahassee. I remember we, we grabbed the map real quick and like, okay, it's over here, fuck, I don't need this. Threw it away, and we drove straight away. Once we got over here, we went straight to his house. 
you're saying to get to Tallahassee, you had to get a, a paper map. Yeah, because he like I can't remember because he was drunk. He like man, I remember so we stopped in a gas station. He bought a map real quick, looked at the map. He like all right, I don't need it. Boom, that thing threw it in the he threw it in the glove department. Like all right, I know where we at. And he kept driving. So we got down here, we went straight to his house. So he didn't need yeah. any help getting to his house from the motel. He didn't have to pull a paper out no more. Look at no address. He already knew everything. And that's when y'all parked down there on the south side, well, it's the south side of Benton Road. 2116 is house. That's Mark Hill's number. Of his How house. do you know that? Because I remember when I passed with y'all the other day. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, so. But I can't, I can't, I remember the first time when I passed by, I looked at the numbers, but I couldn't remember. So that's why I, when I try to go back around, if I look at the house, I was looking at the numbers, freaking hit my mind. So I remember, you know. So he parked in that park where you where you had to stop? Yes, sir. And faced towards the street so you could see him coming out of his road? The same way we pulled in, mm -hmm. the hotel was there. We were just watching. And then you all followed him, you said, to the daycare? To the daycare. We're on the first trip still. The first trip. The and first trip, driving. the second trip, we followed him to the daycare. You all did the same pattern? Yeah, same pattern. So he follows him, and they go to the, day, the daycare. What and, and does he park over there to wait? Yeah, we, we, we parked, we parked like, uh, when I was passing by last time, which I, I can't remember, we parked like in the corner, waiting for him to come, but I never seen him come out. I'm like, yo, this guy's not coming. So we always lost him, because I guess when he come out, he hit the right and go that way towards like the gym. But never came back, so that we would leave. The first night was up here, we left, we were just, we ended up going to Hooters, we ate some chicken, we ain't drank, some, we drank beer like crazy, we went back to the hotel, did powder and drank, just hanged out like the first, the first week was out here, we just, for three days, we just closed them out for two days, maybe a day and a half, and that's it. What caused you to leave town? Why did, why did you give up and just go back home? Me, personally, I'm, I can, I told him, listen, man, I don't think this is going to be worth it that, that day, I'm like, this is not worth it, man, we should just get out of here, you know, I don't think. It's bad. I like think about it, man. And, you know, I gotta do it in morning, this and that. I'm like, all right, man, whatever. But we leaving. We left. And then, about like a month later, the second trip, we like, man, I gotta do this, man. I gotta do this. So I just, you know, I, I, that day he told me that I thought about it all day. Like, where the fuck this nigga's tripping? And it's all because of Katie, man. Like, she had him crazy. You know, she would go cheat on him and. I guess she told him, if you want me back, you got to go do this shit. Because when we came back a week later, they were together again. Like, we went to the park. We were seeing a pocket fight in my brother's house. Everybody was hanging out. You know, it was crazy. So I'm like, she had them all messed up. She had them all confused. So, were, so you in any, were you in any of those, were you present in any of those conversations when she says, if you want me or want me back or anything like that, you got to do this? No, but um, me talking to him, he's like, like, try to, like, and they try to say something, but I, I know my friend, I grew up since he was five years old, I'm like, all right, dog, let's go, man. I, I, like, I really know what, the, I really know why you're doing this for, you're doing this because of his stupid, his stupid ass wife. Let's go, so I went with him. But it, it was all her, it's all fucking kids for me and this shit, man. So they worked together during this time, during the time of the murder? <laughs> Where was he living at? He was living in, um, in Biscayne 186, between Miami Beach and Biscayne. And house, apartment, or uh, apartment. Was he living with anybody? He was with, at that time, he was, um, he was staying with him. He Anthony, yeah. Anthony was staying there because she'll go drop the kids off and Garcia leave, go get fucked up, go to Shrimp's house, stay in Shrimp's house and leave the kids with Ivaro. It was Shrimp. Hmm? It was Shrimp. Uh, Tati, I called her Tati, I think her name was Tati. But I, I just called her Shrimp. That was like his girlfriend. His girlfriend? Yeah. Okay. And she'll go harass him. Every time she was over there, she'll go pass by, drive by. Oh, motherfucker, I see you threw a picture of the house, sent it to his phone. Like, you fucking this guy, and then you over here harassing my dog, live my dog, live his life, and do you, because he was showing me the pictures. Man, look what this girl threw, she heard around, like, and you like it, and you love it. So, what's the use? Because you'll be one day with Shrimp, and then you'll go one night, spend one night with Katie, then she kick your ass out the house, and she go with this guy. Come on, man, like, she had him real, she had him so messed up that he, he was drinking every day. Every day you drink, every day you do coke. It wasn't that one day that passed by without that man drinking and doing coke. He's messed up over there. Where was she living at? That time, that's... Let's see. I don't know, I think it was on the Miami Beach. It was 
for the land on the beach. I think she was still living in the land on the beach. Before I tell her that last time. I think she was still living in the land on the beach. I can't remember where she was staying at the time. But I know after she got, I know after the money and all that shit, she moved where she's at now. Trying to get a better place. Then he moved in with her for a little bit. Then I went over there and spoiled the party, tell her, man, fuck that, let's go. She look at her, she look at her getting dressed. She leave me in the house and she's leaving. Let's leave. And we left me, he never came back. But he'll come late night, sneak in. And be like, you either gonna leave her or you gonna be with her. Like, she got your head all messed up. She made you go through this shit. You know what I'm saying? That's like saying she really didn't give a fuck. But she made you do something that you weren't even supposed to do, man. That's, that's your wife, and she's supposed to be <coughs> You know, I used to tell them stuff like that. Hey, well, I got into argument. I argued with him a couple of times. Like, the first night we came down, I argued with him back in my, in my alley. I'm like, man, fuck this. We argued, whatever he left. Then he called me, and then we met up, went to the bar. And I'm like, I was frustrated. I even woke up one day, I was in my house drinking. I ain't tell you this though. I was in my house drinking one day and I was so mad I was thinking about the murder. And it was just hitting me, hitting me. And then he came to my house. And Jessica called him, yo, come over here and calm this nigga down. I don't know what's wrong with him. He came and told me, chill out, man, stop thinking about that shit. I said, man, it ain't even that, man. Like I ain't do it. How the fuck can you walk around here like that? Something that you did and you got here, like everything is alright. I couldn't sleep. I kept thinking about that man and them kids. They really hurt me, man. They really do. When you when you all uh, didn't do anything the first time, did anybody call when you're heading back to Miami, or what was the first indication? Is he was talking to her. I know he kept talking to her on the phone. The first ride, he talked to her a lot. I know he did. He kept talking to her. I kept telling him, "Get off the phone, bro." Like, he talking to her. There's nothing to talk about. When you get down there, you talk to her personal. No need to be on the phone. I told him, I said, you're going to get caught. I told him just like that. After him, I said, that's how we're going to get caught. You on this phone. You talk too much. Especially when you're drunk. You speak too much. But he, he always kept talking. Every time she would call me, then she go again. I got him. But did he call her when you're on the way back? You decided to abort the mission. You're not going to do it. You're not going to kill the guy this time. Yeah, the first night, yeah, he called you, like, oh, nothing happened. We'll probably come back, but nothing happened today. Like, fuck it, this shit is sour. It's not, you know, we couldn't even find the guy. We followed him and kicked. Every time he went to his house, I couldn't tell if he was in his house or not because his car went to the garage. So we could never know if he was there or not. Did you ever hear a conversation between him and her, or was there, was, was anybody questioning why y'all didn't do it? No. Ain't nobody questioning. And nobody gonna question me, and nobody even. I think that they didn't even know I was going on the ride, unless he, the only one that knew was Katie. She knew I was in that car. How did she know that? Because he, he told her. Okay. He told her, I'm going with Tato. They call me Tato. So I think I'm going with Tato. So I said, you know, I said, who, I asked him, who knows? He was not just Katie. I said, the lady knows I'm in a car. He's like, nobody knows it's just Katie. But in my instance, I didn't trust him that, that day. I'm like, somebody else gotta know. Because if you told Katie, Katie had to tell that lady. Because, you know, that, that day that they murder, when I seen Wendy, that's when I asked him, who's that lady? And he said, that's Wendy. I remember her clear day with the two boys. When you all get back to Miami, you just go drive straight back to Miami? Yeah, straight to Miami. And where do you go from there when you get there with the car? What, what car? Which one? The car he's driving, the rental car. Oh, the, the Nissan. I think he stayed with it for a couple of days. I think he stayed with it. We came back every time. When I come back, I always end up in Billy's. That's you my spot. Now? I go to Billy's, sport right. bar. That's my spot. I'm not every, no matter what. No matter what I do, I'm always going to end up right there. So I'm thinking I was there that night. When I came back home. I came home. Yeah, we went to Billy's. We was in Billy's. Was Katie there? In Billy's? straight to Billy's or did you go to Jessica's first and then Billy's? No, I stopped, I always stopped, I stopped in my house, take a shower, change up, got dressed and went to Billy's. By yourself? In my house, yeah. That was my house. He left, he, he, went, he went, 
I don't even went, I don't even want to see Katie or you in the shrimp's house. So I said, look, I'm finna take a shower and relax. I'm gonna get some coke and then we ride. And I, he met me in Billy's because I wanted Billy's in my car. Are you sure? Yeah, I wanted Billy's. I'm mean, with me, my brother, and him. I don't know if Ricardo came with me. Don't know if I picked up Ricardo that day. I can't remember. Can't really remember that much. I'm not seeing a lot of you know. But I always end up in Billy's. I go Billy by myself. Then everybody with me was there. Was there a discussion about not doing the hit? Not at all. There's no discussion at Billy's between you and you and Tito. Mm -mm. So what was it? So at that point, was it just like we're just not going to do this, or yeah. was it we're not going to do this now? And we didn't speak about it, so I figured I figured like it was kind of dead. But then he told me, look, we gotta go back. The same yeah. night? No, like I think a couple of days after, about three or four days, then we gotta go back up there. Is anybody wanting the rest of that five thousand dollars back? He never told me about that money if they wanted it back or not. But I know the money was paid, and they had to do it. Then give you, give you interest. You gotta go. You know, you gotta go do it. But. We never spoke, I never really sp spoke about this shit that much. Never spoke to him about it. Never came back and told him anything. When it happened, that day to me it was dead. I buried, I, the same thing happened, I buried that shit, never told nobody nothing. I stayed quiet with it. I never spoke to him about nothing, never told him nothing. But I know we, I know we came back. I remember him telling me, yeah, we're gonna have to come back. The day we left, we're gonna have to come back and see what's gonna say. We're gonna have to really come back. But I really wasn't up to it, but we came back and everything happened. Um, I just want to back up just to Harry. Um, you said a while ago when him and Katie, Katie always had it messed up and stuff. What was Katie doing? I mean, you said somebody she was going to see somebody. Oh, so you go see the dentist. Who's the dentist? I was about that. I don't, I don't know his name. I don't, I, I don't know his name. But the only way I knew his name, I guess I used to talk to my wife. She'd be like this. She's with a dentist. I'm like, oh, this is the I, I, we, we already knew. I already knew she was fucking a dentist. He ain't told me his name, but I couldn't remember. Right now, I remember his name because it just came to my mind. But at that point, he'd be like, this bitch over there cheating on me. We used to work together. We left the job one day. We went to we left work. We went to a restaurant. And I want to be coming over here for it. And now, because she's over here cheating on me with the dentist she's working with. I'm like, damn. And that was like the first time that he told me, like, that's fucked up, and you over here stalking this hoe. Like, come on, you're not the only guy, man, you go get whatever you want. Like, leave her, but I know he wanted to get the car and smash right through him. Like, yo, I'll get off the car if you want to do all that stupid shit. If you want to run the car into that restaurant, I'll get off the car. He was that jealous, huh? He was jealous. Real jealous. He was real jealous about Katie. But he didn't do that, though, did he? No, of course not. Nah, I, I think I wouldn't even be here. I think he would have been in jail. I mean, he never approached that dude or anything like that, right? No. He never did that to okay. I know he told me that the, the guy looks like him a little bit. How the fuck the guy look like you, man? I know that's what he told me one time. He was drunk. I looked at him and I laughed. I'm like, you got to be tripped for real. I remember him telling me that. But. Okay. All right. So we move... Uh, we move up in time. You say he's, he's talked about going back down. Tell us what's the next thing that happened to make all that happen. No, the next time they got to come up here, so we came up. That's that's when I went to the Prius. We came up. We took the drive up here that night. How much? How much time? How much warning did you have that you're going to take this trip, or how much? He starts telling you. He told me one time, and I said, then the, the time that he came, he told me that one time, yo, we got to come up and all right, whatever. I thought he was bullshitting, so yeah, or whatever. He was always drunk, so. Cause you're working. Yeah, cause you I'm still working. have a job. You yeah, I'm a working. Job, you know, I'm right. Working. You helped him get a job way yeah, back then, right? I helped him get a job. I gave him a job. Is he still working there with you at this time? No, I had to fire him because he was drunk and a job. Okay. So you know, he worked. I'm still that. working. I'm like, yeah, okay, whatever. I ain't really afraid no more. That Wednesday, that Wednesday when I get off work, he comes in, hey, man, we gotta go. Like this nigga. Mama. In my mind, I ain't say nothing. I'm like, he's serious about this shit. You know, so, all right. I said, what's up, what you want? You look, I need to rent a car. We need to rent a car. I'm like, man, you better find somebody to rent a car. I'm not in the first, uh, I'll be, I'm not renting a car in my name. But there was nobody to find. He, but I don't have no license, nobody. So I'm like, all right, let's go. I jumped in my car. I jumped in my car. I'm in Mercedes. 
went over there, parked by the side, like the next block over. I jumped off. I said, here, go my car. He's like, yeah, I'm going to stay back here. I went in. He gave me the money. He gave me $250. I went 250. inside. 350. 350. 350. I went inside. I said, man, I need a car. I said, I need a good car. He's going to give me a round to Orlando. I told the guy. Yeah, man, only one I got this, that little green car right there. I'm like, all right, that's fine. Cool. Gave him 350. Took the car and left. Followed into my house. I took a shower. We left early. I think we left. Lewis, was there any discussions at that point? You may have already said about how much money you were going to get paid for taking this trip. I mean, are you just doing this out of friendship, or was there a certain amount of money that you expected to get? You already told us you didn't want to go. You didn't want to shoot anybody. Well, I, was, I, was, I was really doing it because my best friend and I didn't want him to take nobody else and get them all fucked up. Well, okay. he told me I'll give you, I'll give you, I'll give you thirty-five grand. That was before they, you took the first trip. That's before I took it. Okay, I, I wasn't sure. I'm sorry for that's interrupting. Right. I just like to. No, it's good for clarification. Yes. It, that he had already been. My understanding, please correct me if I'm wrong, is you'd already settled that he was going to give you 30 and then give you an extra yeah, 5. 30 and then he's going to give me an extra 5, but he gave me an extra 7. He gave me was 37. Okay. 37. Uh, but okay. that's before even leaving the very first time. Yeah, it's before said, even the first time. Before and I time. believe if. It, it's your story, but I believe you said before something about you knew that the total amount equaled a hundred thousand dollars or something. Yeah. Was that before you took the first trip? Yeah, before you took the first trip, because he told me I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna give you thirty, but then he gave me thirty, he gave me thirty-seven, he gave me thirty-five first, and then he gave me extra some money on top of it. So I, it was thirty-seven in total. Then I asked him, how much you getting? He got like forty something. So I said, how much Katie is getting? Oh, she getting the rest. I'm like, hold up. I, I might be uh, I might be illiterate, but motherfucker, I can count money. You know, 37 and 40 something in the rest. No, she getting more than 50. She getting more than 60 something grand in her pocket. So I mean, there was more money because, you know, I'm me being in prison and Coleman, I'm hearing about her. Oh, she getting a new car. This guy getting a new car. And I'm like, uh -huh. How she, how are you getting all this if this nigga ain't working and she ain't doing shit but fucking this dentist? So the dentist bought her, buying her, buying her car. She buying her car. She had already spent all his money. He don't have no money. He spent five grand on a Nissan Maximum. He spent twenty-seven, twenty-eight hundred on a Monte Carlo. Bought the bike for, I think it was. 32 or 2900 and the bike is the, the we, we bought bikes but ain't no ain't no 2016 bikes it's an old bike my bike was a two uh, old three and his was i think it was a 97 but it was souped up our bikes all it was souped up and i paid for my bike was 2300 2300 that's it but you know all this money that he spent if you come to add up he ain't got much left then he paid he, pay, he rented the apartment Pay for the apartment for six months. That way he don't lose it because he don't have no job. Pay for six months out, right? Yeah, he paid rent for six months. You know what I'm saying? He told me I paid the rent. Then I go to the house, he got a big ass T. Like, damn, what are you doing? Big things. Where are you, where are you getting this money from? Because I know you. I know you spent all your money. Like, I know you, Google. I know you spent. He let me, I'm down to the three. I remember he asked me, yo, let me hold some money. And I told him, man, I ain't got no money. I did. So my guy no money. I already knew what he wanted for. I like, what you want? What you want? They had me for twenty dollars. I said, Well you're twenty dollars. I'm finna get coke. I said, Why are you gonna go buy coke if I sell coke? You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, you need coke, I'll give it to you too though. That's all, but you know I don't wanna just be like a whole bird trying to ask you all the time, I just want my own shit. I'm like, all right. I gave him coke. I said, You do what you do, however you get your money. But I knew he can't get his money. You saw the TV in the new apartment and everything. That's well after the murder. Yeah, right after the murder. I mean, I mean time had gone by for a yeah, while. Yeah, time had gone by. It only been like about, say like six months, six, seven months, eight months. The money blew fast. But you're saying what I'm hearing is, we, I know he already blew all his money, but somehow these things were still coming in. Yeah, it's still coming in. Like, where is it coming? And then I, I remember asking him one time, 
What you did with your money? Oh, I stashed some of my money in Katie's car. I said, you stashed some money in Katie's car. And you think that girl won't look, it's clean her car, and look at fine. He's like, no, nah, I stashed it real good, but I never asked him what he stashed it at. He said he stashed it in the car. So I'm like, man, you be lying. And my mind, like, to me, he was lying to me because you can't get, you can't get money. You bought all these toys, man. You're buying shit left and right. Your car, the Nissan broke down. You destroy the car. You, you had to fix the transmission. You had to fix this. Like, the Monte Carlo you bought is an old school Monte Carlo. It needed work done to it. You know, you put you probably put two or three grand into it already. After you bought it for 27. After you bought it for 27. And like, the Nissan was five? The Nissan was $5,000. And you said the, his bike was 3200 Yeah, like 3200 and you only spent two twenty three on your yeah I only bought me a bike I ain't buying nothing else I ain't buy, I bought just I bought just got the little raggedy ass Toyota for like two three hundred dollars for my best friend and that's it you said that um, um she had gotten the car Tudor wasn't working at the time right and you said something about somebody gave Katie a car when I was in prison. Oh, okay, that was later on. That's later on. Okay, that's later on. Okay, so I got nothing to do with none. I'm just, okay. I was just bringing like Hayaki getting money, Hayaki getting all this stuff. So going back to when you're talking about, he wasn't working. Was Katie working? Do you know? Yeah, she was working with the tennis, I believe. She was still working with She was still working with the tennis. Okay. So when he stashed his money in the car, what kind of car did she have at the time? That same car. She has a Mitsubishi. SUV, the white one she has right now. White SUV. All right, so he says, hey, we need to go back. We have to go back. I'm going back. And, 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 the, and, the, and the, the money's already been arranged from before. before you're, you, to, to make another trip, you're not going to get any, you're not going to get promised any more than what you were originally promised, which is 30 plus 5 plus mm-hmm. 2. And so he's, so, so he, t- he basically says that you go to the rental car place, you get the Prius. You go drop your car off. <clears throat> yeah. That's what I'm hearing. Yeah, yes, sir. Okay. And then then what happens from there? We took all we came up here. Same two guns? No, and no more. Just one gun. Okay, I thought both guns went both trips. No, sir. Just one? Just one trip. Short nose, long nose? Short nose. What happened to the long nose? Probably left at home. I don't know what he did with long nose. You left it at home? No, no. He probably left it in his house. Okay. I don't know what he did. I went into one gun. Okay, so short gun. The one you got from the black guy mm-hmm. in the neighborhood for 150 bucks. Yes, sir. All right. And you haven't shot a bone bullet yet. Nobody, sh- nobody shot any either one of them. How do you even know it works? Because he shot a hole through the fucking car. My that was, that was an accident, though. I'm talking about before oh. he even left my Oh, no. He ain't, he ain't, he ain't tested or nothing. Nobody tested it. Nobody tested it. It was tested in the car that day that he shot the hole through the Okay, so we, and we'll get to that in a second, but basically you say that, that you bought the gun, never test fired it, he never test fired it, never, never. but that's the only gun you're bringing this time. That's the only gun we brought, just okay. one gun. Okay. The first trip was two guns, the second trip was one gun. That's it. Okay, so you get in the Nissan, you're driving. You're driving, I'm sorry, Not a Nissan. Prius. A Prius. Prius. You rented it. I you, you, you said something to them about he might drive it or no? Was he ever going to drive the Prius? No, 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 I drove. He drove, he drove for a little bit. The night we left, he drove. He took off. But then he was drunk. He like, you know what, man, you should try it. Because if we get pulled over, this car, I don't know my name is under your name. So I'm like, you know what, you're right. But then I tell him, I'm in probation, man. If we get pulled over, I'm going to go to jail. You're saying that to him? To him. And we get pulled over. Okay. So the day we get pulled over, the, the officer grabbed my license, came back, gave me tickets, they slow down, put the seatbelt. Give me a speeding ticket. And then my man, I looked at first C and told him, this motherfucker didn't take me to jail. So you got a ticket in the Prius? In the Prius. On the second trip? On the second trip. On the way up here? On the way up here. You have any idea what town you were near or what road you were on? Or? Man, I know. I keep going with these towns. You know, I don't know. I'm not good with these towns. I, I know. I, I just... I, the only thing I can probably just say, I keep saying Gainesville, because that's like, every time I fight, I'm like, yo, are we close? Every time I just see... Cause they had a G on them. Say, yo, we close. Say, yeah, we left back in like an hour, an hour away from Tallahassee, something like that. I'm like, all right. But by that time, that's when I got pulled over. But you weren't in Miami. No. You were in Tallahassee. So were you on the interstate? You think? Yeah, I was in. Yeah. I, I asked him because when we got pulled over, like, yo, how long from here where we get pulled over to Tallahassee? He's like, we got maybe like 
an hour or two hours, the most. The most, the top was two hours. So I'm like, all right. I'm not trying to get pulled over. I know if I get pulled over again, what the fuck? But when I get pulled over, I tell them, yo, this is a sign, man. We should just turn around. They're like, nah, man, fuck that. We up here. So we jump in the last so you get to Tallahassee. He knows where he's going. Cause you're, you didn't drive the first time. So he knows where he's going. He knows everything. He can. When I'm driving, he's telling me where to go. You all end up at the same hotel? Same. Same, same hotel. Same hotel. 109 or 110? Yeah. Same room and everything. Okay. And from that point, what do you do? You get you start doing coke and stuff again? Or? Yeah. I started drinking coke. <laughs> I barely, I barely didn't sleep. What time did you get here? To Tallahassee. Oh, damn. How to be late? We left early that day, right? I think we left early that day. Then we got a pretty late around 11 o'clock at night. 9 11. Okay. 11 o'clock. Somewhere around there. I'm not. I'm never give you the time and then I'm not getting fucked up. Is he either. talking to anybody on the phone on the way up? No. No, he went on the coat. I ain't really talking to nobody on the way up. If he did, I, I can't remember right now if he did. But the only person he's going to talk to is going to be Katie. He won't call nobody else. Okay. He won't call. The only person he talks to is Katie. Okay. So you're at the hotel. You got the gun in the room? The gun was in the car. Okay. The gun was in the car the whole night. Stayed in the car. Okay. The only time the gun was in the hotel was the first trip. Okay. So the gun was in the car. Wake up. I want to sleep maybe later on. Two thirty. Two thirty on that night. In the afternoon. In the morning. Cause we got there at ten o'clock at night. Ten to eleven o'clock at night. Went to the hotel. We're hanging out. We're just chilling. I said, man, I'm going to go to stay. I got to get rest. Because if you're going to have me watch this guy all, fucking, all, all day tomorrow, I got to get rest. So I tried to, I tried to fall asleep. He was still awake doing coke. I went to sleep the next day. It was Thursday. It was Thursday. The next day we drove around there. I ran around the block. I went around the block to the other park behind his house. He said, pull in here real quick, let me go see if he's home. So he pulled in, he walked over there, he looked, came back, he's like, go around the house. He said he seen something, but he wasn't too sure if it was somebody. So when I go around the, the front of the house, then I come back like this. So I'm driving this way. Wendy's walking this way with the two kids. So I'm driving, before I get to the bump, I'm looking to my rear mirror and I ask Garcia, man, what's up with this lady? Why is she looking so much? She's like, oh, that's that lady. That's Wendy. I'm like, oh, no, that's her name. I said, what is that? You know, I'm like, okay. I seen the two kids. I said, what's she doing up here? What is she doing up here? Oh, no, she can't. Just make sure that everything's all right because he's leaving, he's, leaving he's leaving out of town tomorrow. So it's got to get done tomorrow morning before he leaves. Like, all right, we leave. We go back to the hotel. Let me so interrupt you for a minute. Was there ever a phone call from anyone around the time that you saw who he described to be? When she walked, as I'm looking at the rear mirror, I see him walk a little bit further from my house, get on the phone. By the time we get to the hotel, he's talking to Katie. That's when he asks Katie, what's she doing up here? You know? But I asked, I asked him in the car before he, Katie called, what is she doing up here? He like, she came up here to see if everything's all right with the kids. I said, man, you gotta know something besides that shit. What this lady's doing up here? And she knows that we're up here. She knows you're up here. So what's she doing up here? So when she, um, he calls, he calls Katie. Hey, what's going on? I seen this lady over here. Oh no, she's making sure that everything is fine there. Before, what time is leaving tomorrow on, on the flight or where the fuck he was going? I 
ourselves. So we gotta do this tomorrow. I'm like, yeah, cause he's leaving on, he's leaving, he's leaving, and she can't see the kids. But I'm, I seen her face and everything. I'm like, all right. So I'm like, we drive, we're going back to the hotel. I'm, I'm sitting down, I'm sitting down there, on the chair in the hotel, and he's looking like, you all right? And now I'm just curious, what the fuck this lady's doing up here? I don't worry about that shit. Everything good, man. She just made sure that everything was all right. I said, I don't really like the sound of this shit, but whatever. If you say everything's all right, I trust you because I just trust you. I trust you. You're my dog. I don't worry about it, man. Here, man. Take a drink. Like, man, that was early in the morning. It was 12. I'm like, man, I'm good. I don't want to fucking drink. So this all happened before 12 noon? Yeah, before 12. I'm On Thursday? Thursday. You drove by, you saw her walking the kids. Mm-hmm. You ask him, he says, that's Wendy. Mm-hmm. She's making sure that, that we're going to do this or whatever. That she wanted to make sure that we was up there. She thought she thought that we were lying, that he was lying. Because I ain't shooting. They don't even know I'm in the car until she seen, until she seen me that day. Yeah, but your car's got tinted windows. Does she even know uh, what kind of car that, you guys are in? That car, not even tinted. Like, you can see through it. It's like, you can see real, you can see it. It's not, it's, not, it's tinted, but... Not dark like people think. Right, but she wouldn't know you from Adam's house. She wouldn't she, know you from anybody. Yeah, she don't know me from anybody. <laughs> but you can see, you got a little short guy in the car like this. And I'm driving like this. And you see Garcia. Garcia's on the passenger side. You know, so she looked and then he looked. I'm like, you know, that's what caught my attention. Like, what's up with this lady looking at the car? She didn't know she wanted to make sure that we was up here. I guess Katie, and Katie had told him everything. And then he called Katie. He called Katie. I remember leaving that day when we left. We called Kate. Yo, everything all right with this lady? She, she's like, yeah, everything straight. Don't worry about it. Just make sure you get that shit done. Do you hear that? Yeah. Or he tells you that? No, I can't hear it. I can hear it talking on the phone. You're in the car or in the motel room? No, I'm in the car. We're still in the car. We, we have pulled up. Before we go in, the, every time before we go in the hotel, we sit in the car for like 10 minutes. We don't go, we just start going, because I'm sitting down like, Yo, you see that camera right there? You know, it's facing that way. You see that one over there? Yeah, man, how you see all these shit? I said, because look at that camera over there, man. I ain't tell him, yo, you gotta start drinking, man, for you can pay attention. <laughs> so, so, so you hear her voice mm-hmm. saying that, that, that she's, he recognizes her without question. He doesn't have to oh, ask. He don't even gotta ask. He don't even have to call that action on this shit. He, he already knew. Who He's was. already saying, why is Wendy here? Yeah, yeah. No, I asked him right. why and, she's up here. And then he relays to her on the yeah, phone. Yeah, he relays to her why she came up here for. Okay. That's the conversation. So it's not a question of if it's Wendy. He already knows it's Wendy. Oh, he already knows it's Wendy. And he's telling Katie, why is Wendy here? Mm-hmm. To make sure that he was up here. Make sure he wasn't lying. That she was just paying him for nothing but... So Tudo, so Tudo's met Wendy. Yeah, I think he did. I'm a, a matter of fact, I ain't even gonna answer that right there, cause I'm not a hundred percent. Okay. Did you know Wendy? No, not at all. You ever seen her before? Just that day. That day I seen her. That Thursday. I'm not gonna say I never met her. I never seen her. I don't know if he met her or he knows, but I know he said that's Wendy. I'm like, all right. Okay. All right. And Katie says she wants to make sure that you guys are. It would make sure that was up there. And... And you heard her voice say that? Yes, sir. Okay. All right, so you go, you're right back at the motel, and he wants to start drinking it's before noon? Yeah, we hanging out. Now nah, we in the hotel hanging out ready for the next day. I'm like, man, listen, don't get drunk, man. If you're going to do something, you got to do it right. Man, he was toasted, man. Wake up in the morning, first thing he does, chug. I'm, I was taking a shower, like, don't tell me you're drinking, man. Man, I'm already taking a shot. Everything gonna be all right. He was already taking bumps. I'm like, oh man, fuck. So at 12 noon, back on the Thursday, you're there, and you did you go go anywhere else? You had to go someplace else because the car has to get shot. Yeah, yeah, we were driving, we were driving around. That's when we seen on um, that black boy with the car. We were driving around looking for coke. Matter of fact, he was driving around looking for coke. We had, cause we had went to some bar. I don't remember where the bar was at. He's like, man, let's go around here because I know this, this, somebody got to sell coke. But we bump into him in the road. In the road? Yeah, in the road. We're driving, bump into him. I thought somebody already had his number. Yeah, Garcia got his number. Garcia was trying to call him, but he wouldn't answer. 
He was trying to call him. He couldn't answer. So I told him we walked him in the room. He said, yo, what's up, dog? He like, my father. And he like, hey, man, we need some pot. He like, follow me. So as we follow him, I'm in the back following him. That's what I'm the, um, Garcia, I don't know why. He, I don't know what he was playing with. I don't know why he was playing with a gun. I don't know what the fuck he was doing. I heard, I'm trying to I'm going to jump. Like, yo, what's up, man? Y'all right? I don't know where I look at the car. Like, they want to move out of your car. It's not moving. What you did to the car? And I was just laughing because he's so stupid. I'm like, what you did to the car? He's like, oh, man, I don't know. I said, we don't got no gas. How the hell we don't got no gas? So I, we stopped. He looked on. He's like, oh, shit, it's a line. I said, you shot the line? Are you serious? So we pushed the car outside the road. The black boy came, he's like, man, y'all come with me to the auto. I said, I'm not going nowhere. I'm staying in the car. So I'm in the car, I'm still in the car. They come back, he's like, man, we gotta check the car. I'm like, man, get out the car. He's like, man, get out the car. Fuck, what are you so scared of? It's not scared of just being cautious, man. I wasn't trying to get seen by nobody. So I got off the car, I'm outside the car, and I'm, they, while they jacking the car, I'm, I'm down right here talking to the black boy. This, this nigga's stupid, man. He's like, what happened? I said, I don't know what happened. The whole was his son, some, something here. I didn't want to tell him what happened, you know? I said, I don't know why I hit something. But he had to fix some, some small little holes because he's a little mechanic, so he fixed it up. But I was outside the car for like, maybe like 10 minutes. We jumped back in and we followed him. Followed him to some, like, some trailer parks. He like some trailer parks. I ain't pulled up any, all of them in the park. I just pulled up on the side. Now we from me right here. He went and got some coke. Cool went back to the hotel. Yeah, I think he followed us. He went to the hotel for us. This time he rented it. He rented the hotel. So we signed out, we had down there the next morning when we woke up. That's when I went to Mark Hill's house. Stop right there for a second. All right, with all that and, and, the, and the guy that, that went and found drugs for you and so forth, um, all these, these contacts with that guy, you're saying is from Garcia's phone. Yeah. Not he, your phone. He put the number in my phone. Okay. So, I don't know if you called him from my phone one time. I think he tried to call him one time off my phone. I told him, no, don't call nobody out of my phone, man. I don't know this guy. And first of all, I don't even like that guy. That man, we straight. You ever heard his name? No. Never heard his name. Never knew his name. Never heard his name. But yeah, I think he called him one time from my phone, and then he tried to call him out of his phone. I'm like, man, whatever. I ain't paying no money. But he went to the hotels for us. You know, he went to the hotel English. Twice because, you know, we had to check out. The first time we came up here. The second time. It was the same night that we was there the next day. We had to rent it again. And so he gets you a hotel and you made it sound like it was a hotel that was closer to Markel's house. Yeah, the, the one that he rented, his name was closer to Markel's house. Did he go party with you all in the room or anything? He was there for a little bit. He was there with Garcia. He was there. I was mad to say that day. Like, I ain't come up here to meet, to make friends. So he was there with Garcia, hanging out. Garcia was there. It seemed like they were best friends for a little bit. The rental car company ever found out there was a whole shot in their line? Did they find out? Did you ever call them or say, or did George no. just immediately just fixed it? Well, no, we just fixed it right down there. Okay. Garcia said, it's like, he's a mechanic. Like, no, Bully ain't mechanic. You know how to do a little work. He, right. fi he fixed it himself. Okay. Fix it up and everything. All right. So then what do you do that night after you're at this new motel? We're just hanging out. <clears throat> We're just hanging out, just chilling the whole night. We didn't do not stay there the whole night. I parked the car in the back, just sitting there. <clears throat> I didn't do nothing. I was throwing, I was throwing a, through a picture of the, of the owl, like I told you, posted on Instagram. He saw an owl, a bird, an owl kind of sound like a barred owl maybe, mm -hmm. that, that landed in the parking lot at the hotel and take a picture scared him. him. And what happened if you took a picture what you did? I took a picture and put it on Instagram. And then what happened? Katie called Studio. Tell him to take that shit down. If he's stupid or what. So, you know, I, I'm like, well, I took it down. I, I don't know if I took it down right away, but I took it down. So she like, why would you do that? You can't tell nobody where he's at. And in my mind, y'all be talking on the phone all fucking day. The fuck you worry about me putting the picture on Instagram? But yeah, I put it on Instagram. She told she called in and told her, told her to take it down. So I took it down. I said, we just hanged out all night. The next morning we left. The next morning was a Friday. Friday morning. Went to Markel's house. 
one over there by park by the park again i waited for him to come out when he came out i followed him where could i see on the car to the daycare he gets to the daycare i'm just driving in circles i pulled up i pulled up across the street it was a building at that moment when i'm pulling in the building he's coming out as he comes out, we follow him again. This time we follow him all the way to the gym. Follow him to the gym, waited in the parking lot for a while, for like 45 to an hour at the most. Got there. So when he came out of the gym, I followed him home. As I'm following him home, <clears throat> he goes around the back. I go around the front. We, we met him right in the garage. I was like a maybe like, Three, four feet away from his car. Garcia jumps out, goes around the car where he's driving. I think Markel was on the phone that day. Shot him twice, got in the car, we left. Kid driving. We dumped the gun, we dumped the gun towards the bridge. Can't remember that bridge. I wish I could remember if I can show you. I really couldn't remember it. Drove after that I made it home. Never spoke about this again. Never told nobody. The next morning, it's a Saturday morning. I'm in the barber shop. Katie calls my phone. Where's Tuto at? Stupid motherfucker don't answer the phone. Just like that. I'm like, I don't know. Let me find out for you. Give me a minute. I try to call. I think I called Shrimp's phone. I called Shrimp. I said, where's Duto? Oh, he's here, drunk, sleeping. I said, wake his ass up. Tell him that Kate is looking for him. For what? Don't worry about it. I called Hibaro. Hibaro go pick Duto up. I think Hibaro picked him up, dropped him off in Katie's house. They showed up to my house. I'm still in the barbershop. I'm in the barbershop. My wife calls me. Babe, Katie and Tudor are here. I got a bag in my hand. It looks like this. It looks like a brick. I'm like, alright, don't touch it. Don't even look at it. I'm on my way. When I get there, Katie's upstairs. Because I just got told her to come up. Because I just had Lulu. I get there, Katie and Tudor. Katie, oh, what's up? I don't know. What's up? The two, what's up with the bag? Get the bag. I grab, I grab the bag, I take it, I take the money, I stick it in my pocket. I said, man, what you gonna do, man? I gotta go back to the barbershop, I gotta get a haircut. Leave Katie here, man, let's ride. We left, we left together. Went to the barbershop, got a haircut. We pay, he paid like two or three guys here, they give him all to the barber, hey man, go ahead and cut a few hair. Let me get in front of this guy. We left. I ended up going to my mom's house. I see my mom. I paid my mom's rent. My mom was over like two thousand dollars. So I paid my mom's rent. I left and uh, went to my house. Took a shower, got dressed. I didn't really do too much that day. Just I, I went to Bailey's for a little bit. And uh, no, I went to I went to somewhere else. I met some girl in another bar. With Garcia, we hanged out over there. From there, we ended up going to the Hard Rock. Garcia spent seven grand, and the Hard Rock lost it. That's why I thought he didn't have no money. So he spends his money in the Hard Rock, losing his money. And I, I leave. We left the Hard Rock, whatever, I made it back home. Monday. That was that Saturday. That Sunday I wake up, take a shower, it's noon, like maybe like around 3, 4 o'clock in the afternoon. I go see my ex-wife, because it was school was about to start, I believe. So I give her five grand. So here goes five grand. Buy the kids. So where you got the money from? I don't know, why y'all be asking questions? Just get the money and don't worry about it. What's your ex-wife's name? Annie Diaz. Mm -hmm. I give her the money. Leave. Maybe a week later, I'm in there. 
I take money to my sister in the envelope. I said, put this away from me. I don't want to have it in the house. Because when Jessica gets mad at me, she goes to my pockets and take my money. When I come home drunk, I didn't want her to fight that money. And I didn't really want her to know it. Ask me a million questions where I got the money from. So I put it away. My sister put it away from me in the closet. I used to stay, I think I used to stay with my sister. I had keys to go in and out of the house. So I used to go in and out of my sister's house. That's about it. That's when the story ended right there with the money. My care and everything. Let's back up to, um, you come back home, the, where do you, where do you take the car to, or where do you, you, you two are together, you know you stopped at the, ATM. I'm sorry. Yeah, you're at the Prius and, and you stop at an ATM. You've seen that photograph. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then from there you go somewhere. You're just getting back into town. I can't remember. I remember I went home and went somewhere else. Well, you said you ended up going to Bailey, but I didn't go in the Prius to Bailey's. I wouldn't drive that car. I ain't, ain't drive that car. He had that car. I didn't even like that car. He had the car, lost the car for three days. I had to go look for the car because he don't know where he parked the car at. I had to call Triple A to go in the car and give me the because he let the car, the keys in the car, locked the car with the keys. I couldn't open the car, so he called Triple A. I gave Triple A $50 to open the car, gave the keys. When it got his stupid ass, he had to come collect this car, let's drive it back. I turned the car in and left. Where did you find the car at? Uh, a couple of blocks from Trim's house. I think Shrimp was staying like on 76 and Dickens, and Dickens Avenue, somewhere around there, Miami Beach. And I found the car like on 78, 79th Street, like two or three blocks down on the corner, right by a uh, fire station. Like, they would have came over to the car with, and then I would have had to pay more money. That's how drunk he was. Okay. The, so when you, you came back, you split up, so he took the car. You, you, you he took the car with him. Yeah, yeah, said. we split up. He took the car. He had the car for a couple of days. I kept telling him, "Yo, I gotta return this car back, man." Okay, but the next morning, Saturday, you said you go to the barber shop. Yeah. All right. So the murder happened on Friday. Y'all drive all the way back. You party whatever Friday night. What was that? The, the, was it Sunday that he went to Hard Rock, or, or was it that? I think it's, it was that Sunday. No, it was, it was a Saturday. It was the next week. Okay, so the next week after that. The next week yeah. after that. Okay, so before we get to that, uh, you're back in town on Friday. Uh, we talked about Big Daddies. Yeah, you, we talked about Big Daddies. Do you I, I wasn't, I kept telling you, I wasn't too sure if I right. Big Daddies or not. I can't hear it and be like, yeah, I was there. No, maybe right. I was, maybe I, you said my credit card went in there. If I did, I did, who knows. I can't remember if I was there or not. I really can't. Well, before this... I want to go back to your driving out of Tallahassee, and you said before that he calls Katie. He calls. He calls Katie. Think grab him. When we dump, when we, we had dumped the gun, and then he called her, and he said, "Everything is is done. Make sure you have my money. I'm on my way." When we get back to the house, he calls again with my money. She goes, "Don't worry about it. Have it tomorrow morning." I can hear it. I know, I know. I, I want to go back. You're driving out of Tallahassee. You, the Markel's been shot. You're driving out of Tallahassee. All right. And then, are you saying um, that you dumped the gun before he made the first phone call? Because the big deal was about he calls her and says. Yeah, he called and told her it's done. Everything is done. I think way before we dumped that gun or after we dumped the gun. But for sure, for sure, 100. percent He called and said, "Hey, it's done already." Do you hear her on the other end? Yeah, room? I can hear her. She goes, okay, I know, all right. Okay, I know, all yeah, right. Yeah, like, like, I'm like, yo, how the fuck does she know? Like, you know, how would she know if this shit done? But it's Katie's voice. Yeah, it's Katie's voice, 100%. It's Katie's voice. Katie's, he can't call Wendy. I don't know her voice. I know Katie's voice. Okay. So I'm like, all right, that's it. And I looked at him like, did you really just call this guy and say you're done? Like, where your mind is at? All right, I'm yeah. using that as a reference point. Or when that conversation happened, have you all dumped the gun yet? Shit, I'm not sure. I don't know if I did or not. Okay. 
I'm not gonna tell you. Yes, no, that's fine. Just thought I was trying to give yeah, you some type of sure. reference point to remember. I can't remember where the fuck the bridge is at last night. Well, I know. I was thinking if you if you already dumped it, we know we can narrow down here. I a picture. You want to see it? I mean, this morning thinking about the bridge. That's how much I've been thinking about this bridge all night. This like that. That's what the bridge look like. The bridge look like that. That'd be me. I had pulled up right there to the side. Garcia jumped off. It's grass. He didn't go all the way through it, through it from there. So I can't, I can't, I don't know if he made it to the water or not. But you could see the water from the car? Yeah, yeah. I'm right there. I can see, I can see him. I can you see crossed him. the bridge and stopped. I, the bridge, the bridge, the bridge ends here and it got, and it got like a metal. You know how, you know how it got the little metal? The guardrail. The guardrail. He jumped over the guardrail. Oh, okay. So it's a concrete wall, then a metal yeah. guardrail. It's a little concrete wall. Metal. Okay. Yeah, but the bushes weren't so high that you couldn't no, see No, no, it just water. crashed. Okay. It just crashed. Okay. But in, in two, that's what when I was looking at that the other day. I mean, yesterday, like, in two years, I don't know if the fucking grass grew or they cut it. I don't know what, I don't know what's right. going on. I don't know. There's so much construction out there now, so that shit had me confused. There's a lot of construction out there. Yeah, so I'm like, so let me ask you this. From the edge of that wall right there where Garcia was standing, how far to the water was it? Was it like from here to the wall? Was it way down the road? I mean, yeah, this thing is here. Uh, I'm going to give you a sunlight right here. The water will be way over there to the wall. Okay, it's about for you the wall, maybe 20 feet or so. Mm -hmm. 20 feet, no, that's close. No, that's like 12, 15 feet. No, it's some more than that's, that's about 9 yards, 10 yards, it's between 25 and 30 feet. Well, long we have a reference, he's saying it's from this point to that wall yeah, yeah. that's a walk water. Because when I pulled up, I can see it, like, on the court, I can see him, I can, I'm trying to look at him, like, what the fuck you doing, he's just throwing it. Because like, I'm like, I'm seeing him going like this, I'm like, turning on the tire. I don't know, because he told me, no, I took it apart. Did you took it apart or not? And he said, yeah, so I'm right, but he can just go. I really want to stay with it if I can put it, if I knew where I, knew where I was going to stash it at, but... You threw it. You were going to stash it? Yeah, I was going to stash it. You were going to drive all the way back to Miami? Really? I was going to drive all the way to Miami and put it away and bury it shit somewhere. You can, I wasn't going to find it but me. Okay. What if... All right, so was there any discussion if you got stopped, what would you do if you got stopped by the police with the gun? No. We got stopped with the gun. Right. And if there was a search, I don't think they would have found it. If they would have found it, they would have found it on him. On the passenger seat. Yeah. Okay. I'm driving, so they would have found it on him. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So I say, hey, we get caught with this gun. You know you got to take full responsibility. I'm not going to prison right now. You, right now your record's kind of clean compared to mine. Yeah, yeah if we get stopped, I'll take it. You know what I'm saying? When I'm looking at him, yeah, whatever. He's drunk. You know, like, but I'm, you were willing to take the chance on driving all the way back to Miami with a murder weapon. Yeah, we almost halfway. Where we threw it at? We was halfway. Well, as far as we went yesterday, it was more than halfway back, but I got you. Okay, so yeah, you're gonna, you yeah. wanted to keep it, but he decided he didn't need to go. Yeah, he told me, pull it away, pull it away. Pull it away and threw it. Okay. Did, uh, did he, but he didn't take the gun apart until he was down by the water? He didn't take it apart? And... He was trying in the car the whole time. I was like, bro, what is it? I'll take the revolver yeah. and just pull the thing out. I mean, it's, so all you got to do is pull it out, man. Like, man, I don't know, this shit's hard. I'm like... Whatever, I'm just driving. I'm, I'm, I'm driving and looking at the rear mirror, looking for the police the whole time. So we got a full cylinder. Down. We got a full cylinder of six bullets to start with. Mm -hmm. Is that right? That's how you had it. Yeah. And then he shot one through the floorboard, and shot Marta Kell twice. Yeah. And there's so there's three bullets left. Yeah, we three bullets left. Yeah. What happened to the bullets? I don't know if he took them off and threw them. I don't know if he left them. Cause he opened it, he opened it, he, he took the, he took the bullets out of the car, that on his lap. Okay. So I'm ready to grab them and two of them in the water too. Okay. Everything was written when he jumped out the car. Whatever he did down there, he did. I can't, I didn't know what he was doing. Did y'all have extra bullets in the car? No. Just, he came up here with six. Six bullets. Ain't no extra, ain't no extra. Okay. One gun and six bullets. Okay. So whatever he did when he got out the car to throw it, I don't know if he took the bullet and threw it. I know, I seen him, he said through it, and then he came back to the car with nothing. So, before or after the phone conversation, but the phone conversation, she he tells her it's done, and she says, yes, I know, something like that. Yeah, but you, that's my understanding, the way I heard it. So I'm, I'm like, because I'm driving, but, you know, my window just cracks, so I'm like, 
I screwed up a little bit because I really want to see what she's going to say. So I'm trying to have like, what she said, she know? She said, he said, yeah. And I'm like, fuck, she know about this shit so fast. I don't know if Wendy was still up here. I don't know what was going on, but everything. He just told her, make sure we have that money when we get down there. When we get to my house, I was still, I was arguing him about that. I'm like, yo, we come down here, there's no fucking money. Oh, y'all motherfuckers playing games. Don't be playing games, man. Go get that money. We got to, I got to argue with him that same day. You don't worry about the money being. He called Dave with the money. She goes, don't worry about it. You have it tomorrow morning. First thing, the sun come up, you will have it. Now I said, I said, all right. You're not going to the barbershop tomorrow. By the time I get out of the barbershop, that shit better be around too, though. I mean, you're going to have problems. You're making me go to a mission and shit that I ain't going to do. I let her like that. Katie calls my phone. Hey, where's, where's Tuto at? This is Saturday morning. Saturday morning. Very next morning. Very right next morning. They ain't passed. They ain't passed. Not even 24 hours. You haven't seen. You didn't see Katie Friday night. I didn't right? see Katie Friday night at all. I seen her the next morning in my house. Do you know if he did? You know Tuto saw Katie the night before. I don't know. Maybe he did. Maybe he did. Nah, I can't tell you yes or no. But I seen her in my house the next morning. That's not hundred percent sure she bought the money. But where's the Where's the barber shop? Uh, right around the corner. I'm in 135th and 135th on this game. 135th by 16, and it's 135th. It's like when you go to the track, the, the railroad track, it's Biscayne. Right about Biscayne? Yeah, right in the corner. Oh, Biscayne and 135th? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, right in the corner. Yeah, right in the corner. 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 Right Ray or e y e Spanish pronunciation for crown, okay. or the word for crown. It's not, it's not a gang, it's not a gang, it's not a gang, right? Okay. okay, so you get a phone call while you're at the barbershop. Yeah, when I'm at the barbershop. Mm -hmm. It's Katie. It's Katie. Where the fuck is Tuto at? Just like that, I'm like, I thought he was with you. You know, like, I, I, I didn't want to slip and say nothing stupid, so I'm like, well... He, well, he's, he's not with you? Okay, no, no, I think I know where he's at. Let me call you back. You know, I'm like, he got to be he's with Tati with shrimp. So I, she knows that. She like, oh, he got to be with that dumb ass. He probably is. Let me call, I'll call you back. So I call shrimp. But she just asked for him. She doesn't say nothing. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, she said, she said who's going to come get the money? Come get the money. Yeah, she like, she like where the fuck is Tuta? I said, man, I didn't want to sleep. So I'm like, let me, I'll find out. She goes, okay, but who's going to come? Who's going to come get the money? You want to come get it? I'm like, I was I was gonna go, but like nah. Thank God I didn't go, cause now I got I got at least some food, cause she was in my house and she bought the money. So I'm like, now nah, I'm straight. I'm gonna call Tuta for you. So I, I said, um, he better he better want to go pick them up, and they showed up both of them to my house. You didn't go pick up Garcia. No worry if there were shrimps. I didn't pick up Garcia for nothing in the world. But you said he bought her to go get her, go get him. Yeah, cause he better was like my do boy. Okay. Go go do this. Go do that. Go over there. Take Katie. my mom go do this. You know. Katie knows about him? Uh, yeah. She knows him at all. Not like, not like that. She probably knows him like for like a year. And then you leave the kids in the house. How can you leave it with this guy? You don't know if that guy's a sick girl. You don't know nothing about this man. Leave the kids in this. You know, Garcia leaves. Leaves the kids over here. Come on, man. I, I, I used to get mad. How you leave the kids with this dumb ass little nigga over here? This man is 40 something years old. Both of them did like a couple of years in prison. Yo, we don't know his background like that. I used to get mad at him leaving the kids like that in the house. So, so, Ibarro goes, uh, apparently, or he tells you he found him. Yeah. Does he call you and say, hey, he's here, Tramps? Did he call me? Shit, I don't remember if he called me or not. Somehow, Tudo gets with Katie mm -hmm. from what you're saying. Yeah. Because. All right, so you go ahead. I don't know. I want to jump in. I was in a bar shop. I, I, I believe I called Ivaro. I called Ivaro that day because that's the only person I would call. I said, go pick up Tutu. He's in Shrimp's house. Take him to Katie's house. Then Katie and Tutu showed up to my house. Garcia gave the bag to Jessica. But Jessica called me. Hey, I got a bag. It looks like a break. I said, listen, I'm on my way. Who's over there? She goes, the Katie and Tutu. I said, I'm on my way with her right now. Tell them don't move. Tell them don't leave. I want to make sure Katie was there for real. I 
thought it was bullshit. I get that. I, I ain't even get a haircut yet. Well, you also want to know that you got all your money, right? Yeah. So before I want to make sure all the money's there. So when I ain't even count the money there, though. I get there, boom, I drive. I get, I sit on the phone, get the bag, I grab the money, put it in my pocket. I go to the car with my Garcia. I said, I have to count this shit. I'm like, hey, man, you don't have to. I said, you know what? It's easy to count because they were all staples. Two thousand dollars. It's a thousand dollars. It was all honest, but a, a grand staple, each one of them. So I said, okay. He let me here, let me give you the. Are you check. saying stapled or a strap around them? Staples. Through the money. Through the money. There's a grand, a grand, a grand, a grand, a grand. A grand Hundred dollar bills. Two one hundred dollar bills stapled together. Yes, sir. Just like that. So I grabbed it. It's called stacks. Uh, stacks. I grabbed it. I'm like, we're going to be over here for it. They gave me extra. I said, all right, man, let's go to the bar. Shall I get a haircut, man? And that's it. That's, I got my little haircut in my mom's house. Take my mom's rent. I went home and took a shower. So Garcia's with you the whole time? You doing that? You doing that right yeah, now? Yeah, when I went to my mom's house, yeah, he was with me. He's with you at the barber shop? Yeah, he's with me at the barber shop. with me at my mom's house. So it sounds like you got thirty grand in staple hundred dollar bills, mm -hmm. and then he dug out five, five or six or seven yeah. something. When I went to barber said, you know, I got a haircut, so I changed hundred dollar bill. Boom. I didn't get. I just said, man, hey, stay with forty and give me sixty because the haircut's twenty dollars. And give me sixty. Boom. That's it. But he gave me the other the extra. That's about it. That was like the whole nightmare right there. No more discussion. Never spoke about it again. How did Katie leave from Jessica's house? In her car. She was in her car. So she's still there with Jessica and Lulu the baby when you leave with Tudo. Yeah, I left with Tudo. Let's go, man. Well, 
Well, like just sit down with it, probably Google Maps and go through the map, look yeah. first, and maybe narrow it down. Yeah. Yeah. Would you be okay with that? Oh, absolutely. Look, on a computer yeah. screen. When, when, I told that, I told that when we're in, like, we're in for the truth. Yeah, I mean, it's just like, a six, seven hour drive down, down there. there. It's just, it's right. where there's so everybody on it. It's not productive. It's getting rainstorms. You can see. We can narrow it down a little bit. I think y'all were overly optimistic. I tried it. First. We're going to try to. He was pretty confident. He was going to be able to recognize the bridge. I think what we, what I would like to do is, is, uh, do it more more methodically than before. Um, it's not a question of him trying to recall which route or anything like that. It's just a question of can you get us to the gun? Yes. That's all. That's good. It's not so we can help him in any way, shape, or form. I don't think sure. he would have a problem with that. No. And we'll see if we can pick a good, clear weather day because yesterday was nasty yeah. and uh, and it wasn't helping at all. Yeah. And we'll see if we can get a better um, view I get it. for for him to actually be able to see because um, he was in a van and it was you know he had to kind of crunch down and look sure. out and it wasn't the best. So we'll see if we can do something like that and, and maybe start early. Yeah, yeah. And on a clear day, maybe we'll wait for this hurricane to get the heck out of here. Yeah. And then uh, I don't think it's going to hit us unless it's changed. For no, but I mean, just, we might get you know some bad bands off of that. So maybe we can do it that way and just pick up from here because I'm confident that we've gotten to this point on Interstate 10. Okay. And 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 based on what he's been saying, I think we're confident here. I'm not really confident from here east. I got you. the the part where she's Katie's asking you, do you want the money? You're gonna come get the money. Right, yeah. the, the day, the, the Saturday morning. Yeah, after. Time, who's gonna come get? Who's gonna come get the money? Who's gonna you? come get the money? Where, when you heard that, was, was she just saying, "Just come to me"? Not get, because she was trying to call Garcia and he right. didn't answer the phone, so she's like, "Yo, this nigga's not picking up the phone. Who's gonna come get it? But you wanna come get it here? Like, nah, he's gonna go get it." Okay. I was, I was gonna tell her I go get it, but I'm like, nah. Was there a predetermined location to go get it at, or me? Maybe in her house. It was, it was never discussed. It was never discussed. Well, Basically, know. who's going to come and we're never to a place? Yeah, yeah, we're going to come. He was going to get the money regardless of her. Because right. she came to my house and brought it that day. All that right. Uh, and your understand from what that she's asking, she's saying she has money for what? For the murder. For the murder. Yeah. Anything else? Nothing else. Money for another drug deal? Money for... Nothing else. That's the so money. The money is for the for the murder. That's it. All this money that, for the murder. For the murder. Okay. And for the murder that that you all committed the day before. Yes, sir. Okay. And and it's there's no other any other possibility besides that. You know, that's the final answer. That's the answer we give. The money was for the murder. Okay. And it would be um, your part of it, or both, or it wasn't discussed. It's just you just wanted to. Was there any discussion about he getting him his money, Garcia? No, there was no discussion. Okay. Yeah, he, he had his money in his pocket. Same okay. thing. Okay. Do you recognize this person? That's Tati. Pardon? I look like Tati. Tati? I mean shrimp. Shrimp. Okay. Is that her? Fuck, I never seen that bitch with makeup, but damn, it's like her. <laughs> <laughs> sure, sorry, sure, sure, the same person? Yeah, same person. And that's the person you see. I'm sorry. Well, I was that's the same person you talked about earlier? Yeah, shrimp. As what? What did you talk about shrimp earlier? That's that's like his girlfriend. Where she live? Huh? Where she live? Oh, um, Miami Beach. She was standing in Miami Beach. Okay. That's the person you talked to. Yeah, shrimp. Yeah. I haven't seen my makeup. Okay. Will you initial, put your initials? on the form paper down here. And uh okay, just underneath that the date is you can put ten slash four. Thank you. Appreciate it. I just wanted to confirm with this make yeah, sure. Sir, I never seen a little angle like that though. Okay. Um so a while back you talked about when you first came um, talked about it a little bit. Um, talked about when you came to Tallahassee that um, Tudo 
you know where the house was. What was the first place you came to in Tallahassee? How did y'all get in Tallahassee? You stopped and you said something about a map in a gas station and you threw it away. Where did y'all, where was the first place you went when you got to Tallahassee? In a hotel. How did you know to get to the hotel? Well, he drove, he drove around. He, he just drove straight. He went all right there. Let's find a hotel. He drove back there and found it. Unless he knew where his radio was at. But he went straight to the hotel. So the hotel was, unless he'd been there before, who knows without me, you know, what the fuck do I know? But he went straight to the hotel. Did he act like he knew where he was going? Or did he just drive yeah. around random? Or? Nah, he yeah, like he knew what he was doing. Okay. And when he went to the house, did he have, was he using his phone? Nah, yeah, he didn't have a map he on the phone. He used his phone? brain and drove there. How did he know where to go? Oh, he had a piece of paper, but he didn't have the paper with him. He seen the paper one time. He just knew where to go. But the paper had an address on it, what you said, right? Yeah, I believe so. It wasn't a map. No, it wasn't a map. How did he know where to drive to? Tallahassee's confusing to me sometimes. Hey, man, he's, he's real smart. He's not a dumb guy. I can, I can tell you he might drink and does coke, but beyond that, Garcia's real, he's a smart guy. He's an intelligent guy. Right? He's okay, so if you have an address without a map, I don't know how you find that. You have any idea? What did he say to you? What was the conversation like? I mean, oh, he, 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 hey, I'm telling you, he just, the paper, he looks, he, oh, you tell him one address, and he's like that. He's like a light switch. He'll find it. No matter, he will find it. He'll get there. Christian will get there. Christian travels a lot. You know, he drives a lot. He, Orlando. he lived in Orlando, so he knows he knows his area. He, like I say, he probably been here before he brought me. Did he say that? Oh, no. But in my, in my knowledge, for you to get there so quick, because fuck, Tallahassee's a confusing place. Did he use know? a Garmin or a uh, navigational tool? I'm not going to see him make another story. The man drove straight to that man's house without a paper in his hand. He don't need no paper. Go back. That's the house right there. I remember the number, 2116. This piece of paper you just looked at, with her, with this, was the picture of, of Markel? Something like that. Was it something like that? Mm -hmm. Okay, was it in color? Was his photograph in color? Mm, I don't remember. Okay. Did it have typing and stuff on it? Around it? Around it like that? No, I don't think so. Okay. Did you ever see him take it out of there? No. 
after he stuck it in there? I never saw, I don't remember if he took it out or left it. Remember, he took the car with him. Mm-hmm. And, he's so and then he got our keys locked up. But he's probably there. And then, and then you got the AAA. Mm-hmm. And then you, and then you drove, or the locksmith or whatever, and then you drove it over to... No, I didn't drive it. I was in my car. Somebody, was somebody drove it back to the rental car place. Oh, him. I remember I picked him up in my car. I told him, let's go. When he got there, I changed the car. I told him, I parked it. You ever have any trouble with the rental car people for the Prius about um, it being late or anything like that? Nah, they, I mean, they called me a couple of times. Well, yeah, I'm in the car, but they ain't never really complained. Did the first rental car company, that, the first trip, did they ever call y'all? Was there any discussion on the phone? What, huh? With him, because he would have been around that car. Oh, no, no, I don't think so. I don't know. I don't even know what to do with that car. I mean, I'm not concerned. If, if I rent something in my name, I'm more concerned about it. Right. Because I'm worried about, yo, what's going to happen to the car if you get into an accident? I don't care what he did with the first car. It's really in concern. Whatever he did, he did. I just didn't know if you overheard him having any phone calls. No, not conversation at all. Conversation no. with the first rental car company or, or if it wasn't supposed to be out of town and you guys... No, not at all. Not that I know of, no. But when you left the first trip after not succeeding in doing anything because all you're doing is just following around and losing them at the child care place... You just got frustrated and said, yeah, let's get out of here? Yeah, so we're out of here. I said, because I have to go to work on Monday. I said, we got to go. And he didn't have any argument for that about staying? No. That first rental car, do you know how he rented it? Like, how he got there to the rental car place? Did you take him? Did somebody else take him? You know, no, sir. Not at all? Not, no. He picked me up in my homegirl's house. And when you got back, did you help him drop it off? I helped him drop nothing off. Do you know how he got dropped off? Did he tell you? Did he uh, talk about it? I don't even know. I don't. I know everything I know is the car that I rented. That car, I don't know nothing about that car. I don't know who rented it for him. I don't know where he got it from. Can I ask you something back to where he puts his feet? That's on the driver's side? Yes, driver's Okay, if you're driving, why is he putting it there? No, he put it there. He drove first. Right. He, the Prius, right. he drove a little bit. Okay. He was drinking. That's okay. like Cody. That man, when we made the first thing, that man used to just drive. I said, I don't really want to try because I don't know where I'm going. I just pointed out for you to go where you got to go. I'm like, all right, fuck it, let's go. Because I had license. So that's it, I wrote. I ain't never touched the paper. I just looked at the paper from, from the distance. He was showing me. I was looking at it like, all right. He put it there. I never paid no mind to the paper. He put it there when he was driving? Yeah. And then it never got pulled out again? Yeah. Okay. That's what I'm saying. It might be still there. Bro. On the, in the Prius on the driver's side. Okay. We'll check. You do yours. I'm, I'm trying to give you what I